about you every time you walk in the set, or maybe it's like a chain. Um, overnight, this interview that Donald Trump did with Russian te television, when he said it's unlikely that he, in his mind that the Russians were meddling and trying to meddle in the U.S. election with that cyber attack. Then you have Republicans like Lindsey Graham say things like this. Other than destroying every instrument of democracy in his country, having opposition people killed, dismembering members, dismembering neighbors through military force, and being the benefactor of the butcher of Damascus, he's a good guy. I think you can tell Lindsey Graham, the Republican senator is clearly joking here are you hoping that donald trump is joking as well and his, his support of who's a good guy no look, look i think donald trump is speaking sort of uh, in, in a generic sense that uh, you know the war on terror is, is a worldwide effort and if it's possible to get allies even if it's russia against isis it's something good and let's not forget that this gives the trump campaign like me an opportunity to always pivot to hillary clinton who made it a formal policy of the state department to have a russian reset to mend our relationship with vladimir putin uh, uh and the past well, president the two things in the same sentence. Why not say, I disagree with how President Obama has handled our foreign policy, and also just, why do you have to say anything about this, the strength is, or weakness this, this of is, Vladimir Putin? This is month number, what, 10 now, where we finally have to realize that Donald Trump speaks a little bit different uh, than, than sort of the political diplomatic uh, language that we've often seen before, and that's part of the reason why people like him. Speaks a little bit different than what we have heard. That is absolutely <laughs> true. Understatement of the day. <laughs> Understatement of the, of the day. It changes everything. Don't set the bar too high. Here, but here's the question, and maybe I'm missing something. In what universe, though, is this helping him? Who is this helping him with, Rebecca? I, what, tell me. What's really interesting, Kate, is that there was actually some polling done by The Economist in YouGov, Putin's favorability among Americans, um, and because this has been a persistent issue. Right. And in 2014, very low. I think it was negative 66 among Republicans. Now, net favorability closer to negative 20. And so Donald Trump is kind of bringing Republicans along with him as opposed to responding from signals from them. And so I'm not saying that it's helping him necessarily, but it's a really interesting trend that we're seeing. Um, his whole brand politically is strength. And so that's what he's trying to project here. He likes Putin because he's a strong leader. Uh, Donald Trump says he will be a strong leader. I don't think it's necessarily helpful, though, because most people on both sides of the aisle are going to be saying uh, that they think Putin is not a strong leader, not a good leader for his people. Right. Um, and it's hard when you have all of those political headwinds working against you. So far, Donald Trump has shown he's very strong. Well, and Hillary Clinton well. sure seems to think that no matter, no matter what, she thinks it's a great issue for her, Peter. Why is she jumping on this so much? Well, think about what he's saying here, right? In what way is Vladimir Putin strong? The Russian economy has actually been terrible, right? Russia has been going backwards economically. It's not a thriving country. What he means by strength, essentially, is that he's a man who does not respect the rule of law, right? He's willing to basically do whatever it want. he wants to stay in power and get what he wants done, right? The, this would be kind of amusing if it weren't for the fact that Donald Trump himself has shown so little respect for the rule of law in our own country, right? A guy who attacks judges, a guy who has said some very menacing things about the press, threatened to go after the owner of the Washington Post because he doesn't like the Washington Post coverage of him, a guy who has, uh, you know, where there's been violence at his rallies consistently, someone who's told the military to torture and brought, violate international law. So it's not a surprise that Donald Trump kind of worships strength, but our political system is based on something fundamentally different than that. It's based on the idea that there are restraints on the strength of international people of, of powerful people because we follow something called the rule of law. I don't think Trump gets that very much. You know what I find it just a little bit fun if we all can just take a pause and take a momentary walk down memory lane with you, Russ. You see how bad Putin is described right now? Do you remember when Mitt Romney was trashed at every turn when he was asked, that, when he said that Russia is our number one geopolitical foe and Democrats, they lit their hair on fire saying he was absolutely ridiculous and he was ridiculed. Sure. Where is the apology coming from Democrats <laughs> sure. now? Sure. Well, and, and that was one of the things that that, uh, you know, uh, uh, Governor Romney uh, uh, did in the third debate with against against President Obama, uh, they ridiculed him. And it turned out it was one of the things that a lot of fact checkers a year later and two years later said, you know what, Mitt Romney was right. You know, Russia is our biggest geopolitical foe. But just look at this politically. And, and this is what I don't get. Either either Donald Trump is saying these things because he means them. In which case, it's really scary. As Peter was saying that this is this is somebody who is a, you know, he, he is he kills, strong. He, he, he is strong he because he is a dictator. Right. We do not like dictators right. in, in our country. Or he's saying them because he's ignorant. And that I don't know which one is scarier. It's because he's doing it on purpose, or he's doing it because he's ignorant. And then go back to your initial question: How does this help him politically? 
you know, does this help with white suburban women? Does this kind of, you know, give him more wiggle room with them in order to uh, change their, their minds? Does it help him with Hispanics? Does it, it even definitely help? won't help him with the LGBT community, <laughs> considering the record the, that Vladimir Putin has with and, the LGBT and community. I don't even know if this helps him with his base, with his, you know, white white middle class base. Does this help him with his base, though? The, the conspiracy theory that just won't quit, the birther conspiracy. Did pro, is President Obama born in this country? Now his campaign manager and everyone kind of around him is saying, yes, Donald Trump believes now that President Obama was born in this country after pushing that conspiracy for so long. Why isn't Donald Trump saying it, though? Do you want to hear him come out and say it? Well, I, I don't think he's, he's been asked in a formal interview whether he says it or 100%. not. No, I'm saying within the, within the past two weeks since uh, Rudy Giuliani made a statement and Kelly just and asked him. But when did, see, so when did he change I, his opinion? When did he change his opinion? That's a good question, but I guess the opinion you want, is... You would yeah. like to see him come out and, and say uh, that? Yeah, I, I think the case is pretty clear now that President Obama was born in the U.S., but again, this goes back to the, the, the same pivot that we debate ad nauseum, uh, not just in this table, but amongst many people, whether or not this actually came from Hillary Clinton's circle. It did not. Except that political fact, uh, PolitiFact in uh, August 29th of this year said that that's mostly true. Okay. No, he, no, no. He, no. They, they, they were, said they were supporters. There were people who were saying who got fired who were who got fired from the campaign. Yes. Yes. Hillary Clinton, who got but there's fired no the evidence that it came from the campaign itself. But, and they were fired. Yes, that's from the, the campaign. campaign. They were fired. You can't say they were. You can't say there's people in the campaign who didn't do that. That's a guy who, that's pretty different from the candidate himself making this a crusade year after year. That's a fair point. Go to your corner. After ding, break. ding, ding. Ding, Zachy. I was just going to do that. Coming up, Hillary Clinton's campaign suggests that she's pressing the pause button on personal attacks against Donald Trump. But is the trash talking really over? I know. I'd be upset as well. This is all this election's about. The panel will weigh in. <laughs>